Have you ever heard of the man who lives in a Boeing 727 just outside of Portland, Oregon? His name is Bruce Campbell. Now Bruce has been living in this home since 1999 when he purchased it for $100,000 cash. The plane was transported all the way from Greece in different parts and then had to be reassembled once it arrived here in Oregon. All in all, Bruce spent two years restoring the plane into the home you see today. Bruce only spends roughly $450 per month for property taxes and electricity. So I've been to Bruce's airplane home twice now. Back in 2016, I originally saw some viral photos of an airplane in the middle of the forest and was intrigued and wanted to go check it out. So I figured Bruce had this viral airplane home and so many people wanted to go see it. So I figured Bruce doesn't want tourists coming unannounced to his home. So I originally just pulled off on the side of the road and decided to fly my drone to see what I can capture. Unfortunately, it was pretty foggy out, so I didn't capture anything good. So years later, I actually found Bruce's website called airplanehome.com, where he talks about things that he likes, his home, how he built it. He has photos on there, a lot of information, and he actually welcomes tourists most of the time whenever he's home. So Bruce's home is located just outside of Portland. My trip took me from Lethbridge, Alberta. It's about 12 to 14 hours to drive there. And so once we arrived, we just pulled up and got out of the vehicle and walked up to the plane and started exploring the area. And you can hear Bruce inside the home, kind of, he hears us outside, so he's getting ready and he pokes his head out of the window and introduces himself. Now Bruce is a very, very friendly, unique individual and he will answer any questions you have about his home, about himself, about his life. So Bruce gave us a tour of his home, where he sleeps, where he showers, his bathroom, where he spends most of his time, which is at the computer. Bruce is actually a retired engineer, um, very, very smart man, and he'll tell you everything about himself, his plane, um, and the things that he believes in. Bruce stated that he actually only lives in the plane half of the year, and the other half he actually lives in Japan, where he stated he wants to build another airplane home there. When we asked if we can go on the top of the airplane and take some photos and drone shots, he was actually very excited to show us how to get up there. Now, fair warning, if you do end up going, it is extremely dangerous to go on top of the plane. Um, you can slide off, it is extremely high, and you can, you can seriously injure yourself, so just be careful. So once we eventually got on top of the plane, um, decided to get some drone shots, so here they are. Now after exploring the plane and the whole entire area for about an hour, an hour and a half, more tourists decided to come so that was our cue to head out. I highly recommend going to Bruce's airplane home not only to see the airplane and the unique location that it's placed in but to also meet Bruce because he's an extremely intelligent and friendly man and uh, he can tell you a lot of stories. Number one and number two fire extinguishers are fine. Number three is disconnected. So <laughs> be aware of that. If you do pull it out, uh, put it back in. What's the top of the board? 